Right, hi guys. So, how do you go about quoting and pricing for a crazy job? Now, what do I mean by crazy job? Well, I mean a job that maybe doesn't have a clear end, a job that you don't really know how to approach it, so it might be a bit of trial and error, um, a job that is um, got loads of bits to it, and it's not, again, it's not clear cut, it's not straightforward. So how do you go about charging these jobs? So how do you go about quoting for these jobs? Well, I've just finished uh, part of a job that I'm doing for a customer and I'm filming this in the middle of January. It was minus two when I went out this morning, it's snowing now, I don't know if you can see it in the window, uh, the window to me, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's freezing. Uh, but the garden is full of little jobs and it's uh, a really welcome job this time of year. Uh, keeps the money coming in. Um, and a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna show you uh part of that job it was basically removing um it was it was horrendous when i was quoting for it when i was looking at it but it turned out to be not as bad as what i thought it was basically to remove a load of ivy keep it on the fence anything kind of on the floor and everything she kind of wanted rid of um so i'm going to let you know how much i charged for that uh, a little bit later on um and i'll tell you kind of me thinking behind that as well um but i'm going to talk about uh quoting for you know i'll not, I'll not say horrible jobs but jobs where they're just tricky it's easy charging for a grass cut all right it might not be when you first start but you know it's black and white hedge trims black and white um but occasionally you'll get asked to you know have a look at jobs where it's not straightforward and i must say if this was in the summer i probably wouldn't have taken a job like this on uh, the IV itself's fine, but she had lots of different things that I haven't kind of photographed and, uh, you know, uh, me being by myself, it would be difficult, um, you know, during the season when it's all guns blazing, you know, to, to fit that in. Uh, but perfect for this time of year. Um, so, the first thing you've got to do really is have a good chat with the customer. Take your time establish exactly what she he or she wants doing and you know really do have a long chat with her around you know walk around the garden um as you're looking at it you want to be looking for potential problems now with these sorts of, do of jobs there might not be a clear-cut end so you might have to explain what you're, you're going to do um for example uh if you're kind of i'll take the ivy so you might want to explain you can only do so much i mean ivy roots go down you know a, a good i think it's up to sort of five or six feet into the ground um, i explained that for the price i've given you i'll not be digging them up as in digging the ground i'll be getting everything kind of ground level upwards you know in the space that we talked about so it's best to go over exactly what you're going to do so then at the end of it they're not going to turn around and say well i thought you were going to do this i thought you were going to do that you want to try and eliminate as many gray areas as possible with the customer so you're both essentially on the same page if you're dealing with a garden and the customer is wanting you to do lots of jobs personally this is how i do it um, a price for each individual job I'll not give an overall price and I don't like to do it but sometimes you've got to do it I'll give a price range instead of this is going to be 100 quid I might say this is going to be between sort of 80 and 120 and yeah explain it to the customer you say um, I don't usually charge price like this like you might not even want to say that but this is what I said to this customer I said I don't usually charge like this i like to to go for a fixed price so we both know where we're at i'll do the job for x amount but in this case because it's a bit of an open-ended job it's not straightforward um i want to give myself a little bit of wiggle room um i don't know until i start the job what i'm necessarily going to come across so it just gives you a bit of um you know if it does become a bit of a pain in the ass job uh, you can charge that top end um very rarely will i go back and say it's going to be even more I've done it on occasion where I've really come across something unforeseen and you just you just cannot 
sort of plan for it. Um, but again, you know, you get some, if you get good vibes from a customer and you want to work with that customer, then chances are the customer will be fine with it. Um, so it's all about sussing the customer out as well and sussing the garden out. Um, but yeah, give yourself that kind of leeway really for the price. Um, I also like to try and give customer options when it comes to, to bigger jobs like this. There's kind of, so the way I look at it, there's kind of like the all out approach where you you literally go, you know, that. So what I also like to do is give customer options on jobs like this. So you kind of have me, basic's the wrong word, but you kind of have me basic price and then me top end price for like going above and beyond and doing everything and obviously you, you charge for that um, but it just gives the customer an option if you know because you don't want to lose out on the job especially you know these these kinds of months the winter months um, and I, I prefer to kind of get a job to win a job and what I like to do is give customer options so I kind of in, in my own head, I kind of um, have me, me basic price, for want of a better word. Uh, it's not basic, you're still obviously doing a good job. But then at the other end of the spectrum, you've got your top end price and you're going the extra mile, you're doing, you know, everything. Uh, and it just gives that customer options, you know, because this time of the year, it's January. Um, you know, I want to win the job. So, you know, if the customer wants the high end kind of work, perfect. Um, but it it just gives options and I think that's really important on bigger jobs and jobs where you've got lots of little bits and pieces and alongside charging individually uh, the customer might say well can you do those two things I'm going to do that as opposed to you clumping it all together and you know you might not get any of the job so I think that, that will work in your favour if you do it that way so to the IV that I've just done um, and the snow is coming down quite thick now, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to head off in a minute. Um, so yeah, so the ivy. Uh, I didn't really know the best way to tackle it, so I thought, uh, raking it out, I've got a, quite a hefty, I think a soil rake you call it, I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but it's just heavy, heavy duty rake, and um, just basically get in there, pull everything out, um, get in with your hands, um, pull all the uh, you know the roots the big the big long kind of vines out and stuff like that and uh, see what I'm left with um, I thought that would be the best way and then just kind of stream just above ground level any little bits bits of stuff that are, that are, that are coming out um, I did explain as I say that I'll not be kind of digging down and getting roots out she was quite happy with that um, I could have done that for you know an additional price but she was fine with with what we agreed um, and yeah, it's a kit. it was a it was a bit of a nightmare of a job. It took two and a half hours, but it was easier than I thought. Um, and you know, it was a good job for a cold day. So uh, hopefully, you'll be seeing some before and after pictures now. And um, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, I will be charging separately for the waste. So as I say, this garden's got a lot of jobs to it, and um, you know, I'm I'm kind of part way through doing doing the overall job there that's why it's it's obviously it looks a mess still but if we're just looking at the ivy then obviously you can see the before and after pictures and I'm, I'm really quite pleased with it um, as was the customer so for this job I said and it's always tricky so you know with these pricing videos you know people will agree people will disagree people will say you've undercut yourself people will say you've been too expensive um, I've said to the customer I'll be charging between 120 and 150 uh, roughly for this job and um, it turned out so I was there two and a half hours I thought you know yes of course it's a it's a tough job on your body you know me back was killing you you're bending down you're pulling stuff out not a pleasant job but I thought two and a half hours um, I didn't personally want to charge 150 so I went in at 125 and um, I've got lots of other work on at the garden and I was pricing uh, another little bit for her after I'd finished. So, you know, the, there's an element of wanting to keep them sweet as well without selling yourself out. 
you know you, you know your own worth so i definitely wasn't wasn't doing this cheap this is what i thought that was personally worth as i say i was leaving everything up you know uh, on the fence because when you you're dealing with ivy on a fence you don't know whether that ivy's holding the fence up it's it's you know can be a bit dodgy so the idea was to leave that so yeah so that was uh, hopefully of use to you if you've got any questions pop them below and hopefully i'll see you in the next one all right cheers bye